first takedown we're going to cover in series two is an old school catches catch can arm drag going into a basic run play. There's two differences you're going to see in this technique. One of them is the actual arm drag itself is not the typical passing of the arm behind the highest the tricep length may be used to an amateur style. What it is, it's a hyperextension of the elbow making him step. The other thing that you'll notice on this takedown that's a little bit different is when I go to actually run the pipe in amateur style, if I get this leg, my head is on the inside. That's not the way we do it in catch. My head will be on the outside, and I'll be using my shoulder and the pivot and corkscrew to take, finish the takedown for me. Okay, so let's break it down. Start off collar and elbow. I come in, inside tie, drive down to the wrist, and get right in that nook there again. Same thing. From here, I'm taking this arm and just pulling in, getting onto this, this right here, round to the elbow. I extend his arm with this one, but I'm not going to continue driving with this. I'm not going to keep pushing this arm back. Once his arm's straight, my arm's straight, that's all I need. This one is the one that's going to make his arm go. I'm going to hyperextend it with this one. When I pull, it's going to force this leg to step, and I'm going to step at the same time. So I go and pull, step, step. Now I got to get that other leg up. So I come up, step, step to a squatting position. Come inside, hook with my bicep forearm combo. When I come in here, hook with my bicep and forearm tight. Rift it up like that. From here, I'm going one, two with my grip. You guys see how I'm doing that? Once I've hooked this here, this arm comes across like that. This one releases, so I actually grab my tricep. This one pulls over onto the hip. And I'm squeezing my elbows tight. My head is on the outside. For my corkscrew, I'm doing the exact same thing we've been doing, but you notice I'm already kind of corkscrewed. So all I'm doing is taking a step, turning, and dragging back to finish the kickout. Excuse me, has an as a action and a reaction. That's what we're working off here. I've got this leg up. My grip is locked up. Again, going over the grip. It's hooked here. Other arm comes across, grabs the arm. This one releases, comes up tight on the thigh. I'm squeezing everything tight. My head is tight to the hip. All right? Now, if I get to this position and I'm able to finish running the pipe, that's fine. But sometimes we get here and your opponent's giving you fits. There's three places he can put his leg down. One is in between my legs. So if he drives here, that's what we're going to feed off for this takedown. So coming back up, I'm in this position, he drives that leg down. Boom. First thing I'm going to do is release the inside hand. Switch up to the hip. All right. This hand stays here on the leg. Now when I step in with my inside leg, I'm going to make sure I'm laces down and I'm trying to hook the back of his heel with the back of my knee. So I'm here like this, nice and tight. I come in like that and finish the takedown. Wrestling, we typically start with a single and then work our way to double. This is a perfect example of that situation. So what we're feeding off of this time, I have the leg, I'm all locked up. He drives his foot down to a square stance here side by side. When he drops that foot down, my inside knee is going to come down. And I want to get my hips in a little bit tighter. So I'm here and I come in a little bit. Now this leg is going to, this hand is going to come right here to this leg. This one's going to release to here. I'm not coming high, I'm going here because I'm going to chop this leg as I get the flare. I chop in here at the knee. Now my right foot is going to step right outside of his foot when I start driving 45 degrees. I'm going to start looking the direction that I want to take him. So I start chopping. At the same time I step, I chop, step, and now I'm looking. 45 degrees and chop, look, boom, and I finish up inside control. Okay. So when we land, if you guys aren't familiar with it, it's a double. If I'm landing here, my head's on this side, my body should always finish on the opposite side. Now we're going to break down the baseball slide. The baseball slide is that third takedown we're looking at from our putting our foot, their foot here off that single square stance and then all the way back. And that's the one we're going to attack. So when Jack puts his leg all the way back, 
off me holding control. That's why I know I need to transition to my baseball slide. So I come in, I'm already on the grip, riding his arm leg here. He shoots his leg all the way back. Boom, just like that. First thing I'm gonna do, take a nice step with my outside leg. I wanna get this leg back here nice and far on this. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is start getting ready to slide in. And what I'm doing is I'm aiming the back of my knee here straight for the front of his ankle. I want that to fit right in there like a lock. And this hand is really important. I want this to stay here too because the other hand is gonna get released. And I'll show you what it's gonna to do too. So when I'm here, I slide in with this right leg like that. See how it captures it like that? This right hand is gonna come out far, all the way out here. I gotta get out far because this is how I'm basing myself up and keeping myself so I can pull his leg out. This one comes across the leg and secures it. So I'm tight here, I'm squeezing that leg and I'm posted out far here. Now when I pull, I'm not really pulling back. I know a lot of times it looks like that and it'll be like that when you're practicing it, but the goal is to really pull the leg away while you're driving down with the shoulder. So I'm here like this, I pull the leg out and then drive the leg down with my shoulder to finish. Okay, so see that part again? Just stand right back here. So I've slid in, I've hooked it here, this leg back, this one's posted out far, this is really important. So I landed, post this arm out really far. This arm comes around and hooks, I come in, I'm pulling this leg out, so I'm squeezing my heel tight to my rear end. Going here, squeezing, pull out, and drive the shoulder down. Three baseball slide finish. down variation two of the baseball slides, the exact same technique on the ground, but we're setting it up a different way. So instead of already having that leg at single and then making the switch, what we're doing is just attacking straight forward off that catch arm drag. So I start off, collar and elbow. If I inside tie, I want this arm straight, and to get it that way, I'm going to post my arm and then pull here. Now before, when we did our single, I stepped inside single, my inside leg. So I'm going outside single on this one. So I need my left leg forward technically, because I don't want to cross my feet. So I'm here, I come in, when he steps, I step with my left leg. And I'm already starting to change levels. I want to start coming down, because this leg's coming to me now, I'm not sliding in nearly as much. I'm coming in, I'm aiming for the exact same thing, I'm dropping, 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 Hook. straight in here, I want to get right on top of it, just like that. This arm comes back, posting hard, as we did before. This arm's gonna come right around at the kneecap. See, I'm actually putting pressure on that knee a little bit. When I squeeze in with the cutting bone, but then I put my hand around it too. And when I pull the leg, I'm squeezing my heel tight to my rear end, squeezing, posting, I pull out and drive. Finish the takeout. On the takedown, you just saw, we use the front headlock. So we're going to start off by showing you how to get to that front headlock, how to get good control in the front headlock, and then how to switch to the low single. So Jack and I are in a collar and elbow 50-50 tie here. I come again, same thing we've been using a lot here to keep things simple. Come in inside the tie, I drive down. This is my trap side, just like we did on the half hops right there. I'm going to take a little turn, a little turn, push my hip out, suck them in, and I'm going to come up right here. I keep the wrist again until I can get this arm down. So I have his wrist, I chop this arm down, and you see where my hand is and his hand is? Now, I rotate my hand over. It's important to understand that my outside hand on this grip is palm up. Anytime you do an S grip for takedowns off these, your outside hand is gonna be palm up, okay? So I'm here like this, take my S grip, and I spin it across. Now another thing that's very important here, and this is how you can actually turn it from a choke right away, is taking my head down, Hold my head tight to his body. I don't want to be hanging out up too high up here. I'm not getting enough weight on him. He's just going to do a, a, a switch on me and he's gone. So I'm going to head down here, nice and tight, my legs back where he can't get him. All right, now I'm going to do a throw by. So for the throw by, I'm swinging him this way. I'm swinging him away, but I want to make sure my body stays fairly straight. So I'm twisting my torso, swinging it this way, instead of turning with him and then racing back to it. So I'm here, I, sw I, get away from him. I swing him away, my hands come out, and I'm dropping, and when I drop, my knees are gonna go straight to where my feet are, and my head is gonna go inside. So I'm here, drop, right there. My shoulder is coming in right above 
Now right below is kneecap. I'm on my toes so I can drive. I'm not pulling here. I'm just keeping him posted. So I'm here tight like this. From here, I'm basically doing a drive, like, like a, a lineman or a squat. I'm pushing off to there. Sit up, pull the leg, slide in, however you want to go from there with your position. single just a different setup all we're looking for is the inside time and popping that window we're doing a pop open the window and dropping if you notice how I drop when I pop the window I'm not doing what I did in the first one the first one from the front headlock when I did the throw by my knees replaced my feet it came straight down to the ground what I'm doing now when I open the window I'm coming 45 towards the shin so I'm opening it and driving down to close that distance so I'm coming in for it to finish it. Okay? So we start off, collar and elbow, coming inside tie. Now look at my forearm and elbow. Inside tie, all that means is my forearm and elbow are blocking his forearm and elbow. All right, so I open the window. Once the window's open, I drop forward here. Boom, to close that distance. On all my toes, I come down, look how tight I am. Straight to here, my knee goes, I'm on lock on here, holding again, same thing, I'm not pulling. My shoulder's right below the kneecap. And I'm driving with my legs. Okay, from here, all kinds of options. I like finish the takedown, throw the leg aside, come in, get the side control, whatever position you like to scramble. 